Warning, the following program contains scenes that may not be appropriate for all viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Are you ready now? I got you freaking out. Say you ready now, I'm not. to CWE Wrestling Day Petrol Ringside, joined once again by Kevin Cannon. And Kevin, we are kicking off this week's show with the former 123Approved.ca television champion, ATM. You got to give the guy credit, Dave Petro. He is jumping right back on that horse, working his way back towards getting that title back from Tyler Colton. And what a tough opponent he has this week, Kevin. Of course, the man who won the 50-man Rumble to remember and is now the number one contender for the CWE Heavyweight Championship, the Zombie Princess, Jimmy Jacobs. And Jimmy Jacobs has been proving himself week in and week out. He's been showing the world that that Rumble to Remember match was not a fluke, that he deserves to be that number one contender. Wait, where, where's he going? What's going on? He's not, they oh. wanted a little bit more of a reaction. That was all, that's Jimmy Jacobs. A little bit of uh, a little bit all about the showmanship, that guy. Absolutely, but you know, it, it's kind of funny you say that, uh, Kevin, because some places you go, like tonight, they love him. Tomorrow night might be different. It's, yeah, he's very, very touch and go, and I think it's just whatever suits him best for the match that he's in. He doesn't really care that much about what other people think about him. He cares about his matches. He cares about winning, and most of all, he cares about this title shot that he's got against Danny Duggan coming up. Very, very talented competitor, and of course, the number one contender, Hot Shot Danny Duggan, is clearly in his sights. But you have to think if Anderson Tyson Moore can get back to the winning ways. That might derail the zombie princess, Jimmy Jacobs. Mentally, it would definitely do something to his game if he were to lose this match to Anderson Tyson Moore here, going into a match against the CWE champion with a loss on your belt. That is not something you want to do. That is not something you want to do psychologically. That's not something you want to do mentally. That's not something you want to do preparing yourself for a title shot. Two tremendous competitors set to score off one fall 30-minute time limit. 
CWE Wrestling off and running. Glad to have you on board throughout Manitoba, Saskatchewan, and of course, all across Canada on the Bell Television Express View Network. And Anderson Tyson Moore, lock it up with a handshake, and Jimmy Jacobs reciprocates, and we are off and running. Hats off to the great crowd last week at Rookies Sports Bar, Kevin. Oh, Another yeah. tremendous show, and you had some great success there. I am now the king of rookies, officially the king of rookies battle royal winner. Kevin now, Jackson. do you have to defend that king of rookies title March 27th when we return to rookies? You got to come there to find out, Dave Petro. I know Dick Blood's not too happy about it, and we're going to do something about that March 27th. The only way you can find out is by being there in attendance. In the heart of Transcona, for more details on that big card, stay tuned to our Facebook page, and of course, go to cwecanada.ca for information. But hats off, what a tremendous night of wrestling last Friday night at Rookie Sports Bar. Packed house again. Oh, yeah. These two guys kind of going tit for tat here. They're very, very equal in ability, I would say. Uh, by my assessment here, I wouldn't call one the superior wrestler over the other on paper. Yeah, ATM maybe a few pounds uh, heavier than Jimmy Jacobs. Both men about the same size and uh, experience-wise, ATM might have the edge again on that one. Ever so slightly, ever so slightly, Dave Petro. We're talking months, if not a year or so in, in, uh, in experience, road miles, you name it. Both these guys have been around for, for quite a while to the point where, oh, and ATM with a quick roll up here, you might have a quick, oh no. Jimmy able uh, to kick out of that one. Jimmy Jacobs, the former four-time Ring of Honor Tag Team Champion. Absolutely correct. Uh, Ring of Honor, of course, always in the news around here. Some of the best, some of the best wrestlers of Ring of Honor regularly make the CWE a stop on the tour when they are in Canada. You know who I heard is going to be wrestling in Ring of Honor Day, Petro? Hotshot Danny Duggan. You bet our own CWE champion down in Minnesota, April 25th. He will be making his Ring of Honor debut. And everybody in the CWE is very, very excited to have one of their own representing them right there. Well, some of the most tremendous talent, the most tremendous talent in all of Canada is right here in CWE. We truly are Canada's wrestling elite. And that's why guys like Jimmy Jacobs, that's why guys like Chase Owens, that's why guys like Sigmund, that's why guys... Like the gift, Jason Kincaid. Scott Steiner. Scott Steiner, Tommy Dreamer, Paul London. All these guys really always have their dates when they come back to Manitoba, Saskatchewan on the calendar because this is the true test of professional wrestling greatness right here in Canada. Oh, and speaking of tests. Yep. Testing eight oh. patients. Jimmy Jacobs with a slap across the face. And wow, these slaps quickly turn to elbow oh, fists. Jimmy Jacobs now getting a little bit aggressive with ATM. I think his patience has worn a little bit thin, and he is cranking things up a notch. Do you got to talk about the mental state of ATM after last week losing the 123 Approved.ca Television Championship to Tyler Colton? What state of mind could he be in going into this match? I don't know. It can't be good, though, Dave Petro. That's all I can say is ATM is not going into this one 100%. Both of these wrestlers love the showboating aspect. They love the glitz, the glamour. They love the adulation of the crowd. And look at this. Is he biting him, I Kevin Cannon? I think he's biting him right on the forehead. Just good, good measure. grief. AT some AT some viciousness. Yeah, ATM's checking to see if he's bleeding there on the eyebrow. And I would, too. You didn't expect that from Jimmy Jacobs. Oh, that started. wow. Wow. And that dropkick ATM had nowhere to go. There was no give there. Michael Draven with the one counter troubleshooting referee, the finest in the business. He is make sure there's law and order in this one. And now Jimmy Jacobs with the front face lock on ATM. Anderson Tyson Moore, and of course, the referee checking for the choke. No choke in that one, just applying a little pressure. ATM now trying to get back to his feet, back to his feet, back to a vertical base. Jimmy Jacobs trying to put some weight on him, doesn't, no, he's unsuccessful in that attempt. And ATM now pushing him into the turnbuckles. Can he release the hold? He has to, the referee calls for the break. And an eye gouge breaks the eyes of ATM. Jimmy Jacobs continuing his aggressiveness in this match, Kevin Cannon. There are four steps into uh, to wrestling an opponent that, that I've always said, you read your opponent, you assess your opponent, you attack your opponent, then you reset and start from the beginning. And that's exactly what Jimmy Jacobs does. He has a look, he's very cerebral. He has a look at his opponent. What's working? What's not working? What will work against him? What's his advantages? What's my advantages? What's his advantages? What, what can I do against this guy? That's exactly what he's done against ATM here. Jimmy Jacobs, very, very good at adjusting his game to his opponent's level. Wrestling fans got to make, make sure you know that tonight on today's show, the Misfit, Mike Mission, he goes one-on-one -on -one with Hot Shot Danny Duggan 
And our main event, could this be the final time? It has to be. Mentolo. Ch Chase Owens. Two count two again. No. No disqualification. No count out. No nothing. And that is our hey, team main event. Oh, sorry, Derek Day. Petro, I thought the match might have been winding up there before we even got to talking about the next one. That's right, Chase Owens, Mentolo. This is their final encounter. This is, there's no DQs. There's no counting out. There's no walking away. There's no getting the bell rang early. Nothing. The only way to win is by pinning your opponent or forcing him to submit. That's it. ATM hard into the turnbuckles. Jimmy Jacobs, yeah, coming within the hair of perhaps unseating the former 123 approved.ca television champion. And now reversal, Jimmy Jacobs hard in the turnbuckles. ATM falls up with a couple of knees and just basically he's had enough. Goes for a pin. One, two, Jimmy Jacobs able to kick out. What a matchup so far. Jimmy Jacobs is a very resilient man. He is. It takes a lot. Just looking at him, looks can be deceiving. You think, okay, this guy's not the biggest no. cat in the locker room. I think I can take him down. But no, he takes a lot. He takes a licking and keeps on ticking, as the saying goes, Dave Petro. And a very smart wrestler, too, Kevin Cannon. He's spoken to groups in high schools, and it takes the time to meet some of the fans. And no matter what side of the rule book the guy's on, he's still very cordial with the fans and really likes to share the message whatever that message may be incredibly intelligent man yep. and once he's got the oh. camera in there he's got the 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 camera look at this camera. look at this we got a bird's eye view here first person shooter this has got to be a pov first in professional wrestling atm de delivering a series of left hands to jimmy jacob and he held the camera perfectly i might add to show oh and he gets his spear for his efforts jimmy jacobs now comes with the back no ATM slides up, neckbreaker! Neck breaker. Wow, Jimmy Jacobs is down. And here we go. One, one two, this two, could be it! And... Oh, not at all. ATM can't believe it, but definitely looking at the referee now. The referee counted two. ATM, keep your mind on your opponent. ATM's going to think twice before playing around with the CWE television equipment anymore. But that was, that was absolute. Had to be a CWE first. Oh! Jimmy oh. Jacobs with a double knee right to the... Chin, the foot, the chest, the neck area, and look and at now this. He wants him out in the middle of the ring. We know what's coming here. And then, oh, he sidesteps him. Moves out of the way. ATM. In. Oh, oh, wow. He pace caught him. He caught him, Kevin Cannon. That boot. Look and at that. Oh, wow. Twisting suplex over. That's got to be it. Come on, ref. Count him. One, two, and three. Oh, oh wow. Hooked the leg a little bit late, Kevin Cannon, That's perhaps. Right. Didn't quite have the leverage he needed to put him away there. Nope. Jimmy Jacobs, lucky. Lucky to be able to kick out of that one. Jimmy Jacobs now trying to get the feeling back in that right arm. And ATM poised the strike. He's going to finish him off. Could we see a headshot coming up? I think that's what he's, he's got him in his for. sights. Jimmy here Jacobs it comes. Up headshot, here. no. Shows him into the current turnbuckle. But oh, Jimmy Jacobs up and wow. wow. Catches him with that big chin crusher off of the second rope. And spear, is. spear right in the middle of the ring. There's nowhere to go. One, two, two, three. He got him. Jimmy Jacobs continues his winning ways in the CWE, knocking off ATM. You gotta think as Danny Duggan's getting ready for his title offense against Mike Mission, he was watching this. He was having a look. The Zombie Princess, Jimmy Jacobs, your winner over ATM. Fans, we'll take a break. Mission Duggan, coming up next. Wrestling fans, get set. The CWE presents the Bad Influence Tour featuring the Fallen Angel, Christopher Daniels. Wednesday night, April 22nd, Yorkton, Saskatchewan welcomes the CWE. The next night, Thursday, April the 23rd, the Zombie Princess, Jimmy Jacobs, will be in action in Souris, Manitoba. All the stars collide Friday night, April the 24th, Holy Cross Gymnasium, Winnipeg, Manitoba, 7 o'clock bell time. And for the very first time, Saturday, April 25th, Steinbeck, Manitoba, welcomes the CWE. For ticket information, go to cwecanada.ca.
Give your body the edge in one click with MusclesByMyers.com. We have sports supplements, vitamins and minerals for all lifestyles and levels of fitness. And call or email for free one-on-one guidance. Smart buyers shop at Myers and MusclesByMyers.com. Welcome back to CWE Wrestling. Dave Petro, Kevin Cannon, ringside, and Kevin, the CWE Heavyweight Championship on the line in this match. The challenger, the misfit, Mike Mission. He makes his way to the ring right now. Dave Petro, last week we saw the Tag Team Championship change hands. Certainly did. We saw the 1, 2, 3 approved on CA Television Championship change hands. Will Lightning strike three times, you're saying? That is the question. It is that time of year. Things always happen in threes, I like to say. Certainly which is do. looking good for the former tag champ, Mike Mission, to get right back into the title picture here by winning the championship from Danny Duggan. I, I, absolutely. I spoke to him in the locker room area, and he doesn't like to be without gold. He has held tag team championship gold on many, many different occasions. And right now, he said he feels naked without a belt, and he's got his eyes set on the CWE champion, hotshot Danny Duggan, who will make his way to the ring in mere moments. Fans got to tell you, we've got a big, big tour planned in the month of April. Yorkton, Saskatchewan gets set April 22nd. We make our return there. April the 23rd, Souris. Friday night, April 24th, Winnipeg, Manitoba, Holy Cross Gymnasium. And then Saturday, April 25th, for the first time, Steinbeck, Manitoba, will welcome the CWE. And I don't know if CWE officials are going to get mad at me for letting the cat out of the bag early here, Dave Petro, but nothing's been finalized. It's still just rumors at this point, but I'm hearing very, very strong inclinations towards the Elite Eight Tournament happening once again on this tour, and Christopher Daniels, the Fallen Angel, oh. he will be in that Elite Eight Tournament. It is going to be absolutely excitement personified. The Fallen Angel, Christopher Daniels, that man's a superstar in every ring he appears. And we've seen the commercial on our commercial break there. Yep. Did you see how that man can move? Have you seen what that guy can do in the ring? I can't wait to see him. Oh, and Mike Mission right out of the gates charges the champ. But Danny Duggan wise to his ways and turns it right around on him. Hot shot, Danny Duggan, of course, the CWE champion, the pride of Falcon Beach, Manitoba. Comes back with a clothesline of his own. Mike Mission hits the deck. Irish whip into the ropes. Oh, what an elbow. Hot shot, Danny Duggan is on fire, and the crowd is loving it. Big body slam. Mike Mission is close to 300 pounds, Kevin. And look at that. Here we go. Early win. One, two, no. You got to think these two guys have very different training techniques when preparing for a matchup tape, Pedro. While Danny Duggan's in the gym studying tape, Mike Mission's probably at a junkyard flipping tires and chewing on thumbtacks. Oh, and I've seen this guy before fighting guys with sticks and fighting guys with rocks. Oh, we might have a new champ. He oh. just loves to brawl Mike Mission, and he does not look the part of a, a guy that, that, that seriously trains in the gym as part of what you said. But I know the guy's in tip-top shape, and he can go with the best of them. He's tough as nails. And look who he hangs out with. Look who he keeps the company up. Oh. Big Cliff Corleone, oh. Darren the Bomb Dalton, Certainly. the human crime spree spider. Yep. That's the guy that this guy spends his days with. He's going to be tough. There's no, You have no choice but to be tough. Hey, if I saw those guys walking down the street, I'd cross the road. Oh, I'd get out of that zip code. Absolutely. Hot shot Danny Dunn with a series of elbows. Oh! Mike Mission reverses it, dug it off the ropes, ducks the clothesline, comes back, ducks the second clothesline, and look at this sidewalk slam. Oh, that'll knock the wind out of your lungs. Danny Duggan is down, and Mike Mission needs to take advantage here. Certainly does. Hooks the leg, and he gets a two count. On the CWE champion, hotshot Danny Duggan, the man with the most coveted title in all of professional wrestling right here in Canada. You bet, Dave Petro, and Mike Mission needs to get on top of his opponent here. He needs to get some pinfalls, get some submission maneuvers, get aggressive with him, or else he's going to walk away with no gold. Absolutely correct. Mike Mission now with the advantage and his series of hard right hands to the top of the head of the champ. Hot shot, Danny Duggan, a man who's, if, if they still got stickers on suitcases like they used to do in the 40s and 50s, he wouldn't have any room to see the metal on his suitcase. No. The man <laughs> has absolutely, in the last... 18 to 24 months traveled the entire world of professional wrestling and he is not slowing down as he enters the competition of Ring of Honor next month when he goes down to Minnesota to face some of the top competition down there. If he makes it there, Mike Mission taking that 
that protective pad off that top turnbuckle there. Probably oh. fixing the... Oh, he takes his t-shirt off. Oh, the referee is distracted, fixing the, the ring. Of Danny Duggan. He didn't have any intention whatsoever to throw Danny Duggan into that exposed turnbuckle. He just wanted to give the referee something to do so he could take that shirt off and choke out the champ with it. And puts the shirt back on to kind of destroy the evidence, if you will. Danny Duggan had the wind choked out of him there, and now Mike Mission now goes back with a front chin lock on the champion. Hot shot, Danny Duggan. And he's just using that... That size advantage of his to leverage Danny Duggan to pull him back, to cause pain, to inflict damage on the champ. Certainly is. One fall, 60 minute time limit. CWE Championship on the line. Hot shot Danny Duggan was able to get his way almost out of that. And then Mike Mission pulled the hair right in front of the referee. And the referee had given him what for? For breaking uh, the rules so think, blatantly. I think he grabbed him by the forehead. No. Nope. Uh, I'm not sure there. Nope. He blew, blew, by the hair. <laughs> Goes back to work now with a kind of a modulated camel clutch, if you will. He's got the, not, doesn't have the best grip. Oh, but look at this. Oh, there you go. Just, and you got to believe he hasn't watched that elbow pad in years, oh, Dave Petro. It's just disgusting. Or that arm, for that matter. You no, know, <laughs> the man is not really believing cleanliness is godliness. I think he hangs out with Dick Blood. He, he very well could. Kind of unruly, unkept appearance, if you will. <laughs> One half of the Peg City Punishers. Big Cliff Corleone set to make his return back to the world of professional wrestling after that shoulder injury. And of course, his former tag team partner, Darren the Bomb Dalton, now forced into retirement after losing the tag team championship last Ooh, week. Oh, there we go. Hot shot. Danny Duggan outsmarting Mike Mission there. Lifting up that knee into the nether regions of the misfit Mike Mission. Mike Mission temporarily dazed. Hot shot Danny Duggan trying to get his marbles back. Comes back with a bit of a jawbreaker there. Hot shot Danny Duggan off the ropes with a boot to Mike Mission. Oh, blocks. Shot to the top of the head. Blocks again. Another shot. Danny Duggan on fire. Danny Duggan, as good of a wrestler as he is, he's not afraid, afraid to throw those fists. Certainly not. Mike Mission tossed him off the ropes. Danny Duggan ducks into the clothesline. Comes back with a clothesline of his own. Hot shot, Danny Duggan with a drop kick, one elevation. Mike Mission reeling, and Danny Duggan now outside the ring, climbing up to the top. Mike Mission now not to be fooled, he's coming out. Oh, he was! Double axe handle to the top of the head. Mike Mission is dazed. One, two. Mike oh, Mission buddy. able to kick out. He got that arm up. He is definitely seeing stars, though, right now. Danny Duggan's got to be out of breath after that onslaught there that he just threw at Mike Mission. Hard into the turnbuckles, Mike Mission's head. And now, reversal, Danny Duggan, hard in the turnbuckles, comes back out with an elbow right to the chin of the misfit, Mike Mission. Look at this, Mike Mission, oh, and he slams him down. Oh, big spine breaker right down to the mat. Oh, that'll Danny lock the wind Duggan. right out of you. Oh, yeah, that'll do wow. some damage, all right. Danny Duggan is down, and Mike Mission is not done yet. What's he doing here is he, oh, this could be deadly. That's a lot of meat going outside the ring, 295 pounds. But he is huffing and puffing. He is Can't short of breath. He's not sure what he's going to do there. He wants to just get back in. He said, odd. Oh, that was odd. Figured he was taking too long. Danny Duggan now just, he has been dazed. He looks a little confused. And now he's back to his feet. Mike Mission now looks like he wants to apply the finishing touches. No! Danny Duggan went up with a reversal of his own. Couple of big forearm shivers to the side of the head of Mike Mission. Goes for a kick. Oh! He oh, connected. Wow. Him. Mike Mission is just on Funny Street there. Danny Duggan looking for a cruel summer, but Mike Mission throwing some elbows. And whoa, big fireman's carry and a backflip. Boom, down to the canvas. Danny Duggan is in pain. This championship might change hands here after all, as I predicted earlier. One, two, and th oh! Hot shot, Danny Duggan taking his time, kicking out of that one, that big pin predicament. I thought we almost had a new champion, Kevin Cannon, and Mike Mission cannot believe it. Mike Mission, though, he is close. He can smell it. He knows that victory is within his grasp. Oh, now he's and now going he's outside. Get here. Now he he's moved gone. Danny Duggan a little closer to those turnbuckles. He knew he didn't have him put away enough earlier. And Danny oh, Duggan didn't have him put away enough yet. Oh, and he paced Mike Mission with a couple of big fists to the top of the head. And Danny Duggan now cl climbing the ropes. Mike Mission able to try to fight out a little bit of this one. Pushes out Danny Duggan. There we go. Now Mike Mission's going to come down onto him. Now Mike Mission's going to get Oh, he's up to the top, Kevin. And Danny Duggan's down. He's going to... He oh, moves. Oh, he moves him. We could have had a pancake there, but Danny Duggan moved out of the way. And now he's waiting. He's waiting. He's waiting. Cool summer. He goes in down. 
That's got to be it. One, two, and three. Oh, and still your CWE heavyweight champion, Hotshot Danny Duggan. Still to come, wrestling fans. Chase Owens takes on Mentalo. No disqualification, no count out. That match coming up right after this. Wrestling fans, when in Gladstone, stay at the beautiful and historical Gladstone Hotel, a proud sponsor of the CWE. I go to Muscles by Myers because... I trust them. The staff is phenomenal. You come in, they're always positive, they're always happy to see you. I walked in there not knowing a thing about supplements, and the staff there showed me everything I need to know. I lost about 40 pounds and then put on about 10 pounds of muscle. I've gotten stronger, I've had more energy. I go to Muscles My Myers because they offer great advice, competitive pricing, and they care about helping you achieve your goals. If I can do it, you can do it. One, that's gotta be two, it. And oh! The time limit has expired. This match will officially be ruled a draw. He is calling for five more minutes, Kevin Cannon. Overtime.
mentioned. Now, box needs a lot, whether it's for conditioning, self-defense, uh, the art of boxing. It is uh, one of the places to go is there. Derek, nice to meet you finally. I'm lucky. Derek, thanks. Uh, again, thank you for that the sponsorship. Uh, people getting behind you throw the pro wrestling game, and we support boxing. This bump is for the NWA World Junior Heavyweight title. I want to introduce first the challenger. He has thrilled crowds the world over. He is the winner of the Elite Eight Tournament. Welcome back to CWE Wrestling. Dave Petro, Kevin Cannon, call on the action ringside. And Kevin just introduced the Elite Eight Tournament winner, the man known around the world, Mentalo. Mentalo has had his sights set on the NWA World Junior Heavyweight Championship for some time now, and it seems to elude him at every turn, be it disqualification, count out, time limit draw, you name it, Dave Petro, Mentalo has not been able to get a decisive victory, but no matter what, we will today. You know, it seems like every week these two guys are going at it right here on CWE television, tag team matches, elimination matches, one-on-one -on -one matches, but this should be the definitive, the final time these guys go. No disqualification, no count out, no nonsense for the NWA Junior Heavyweight Championship. Mentalo, he will face that man, the crown jewel, Chase Owens. That's right, the only way one of these guys can get his hand raised. Oh, and Mentalo oh, not wasted any time. Oh, wow, wow. As I was saying, the only way one of these guys can get his hand raised is if they pin or submit their opponent. And Mentalo wants to do that right now, right off the hop. And oh, into a stack of chairs, a bit into the wall there too. Mentalo, you don't usually see this side of Mentalo, Dave. Pedro. Nope. Usually he's very technically sound in that ring, but right now he wants nothing more than to beat up Chase Owens. And I said that back in the locker room area to Mentalo just before this matchup. I said no DQ, no count out, and he said no nonsense. He's focused on gaining that NWA Junior Heavyweight Championship, the title that has eluded him for so many weeks right here in the CWE. Was he wearing his mask when you talked to him? He's always wearing his mask. <laughs> I've seen him in airports with a mask. I've seen him in steam rooms with a mask on. I've seen him everywhere. Restaurants, anywhere you go. The guy drives through the middle of the night. The guy's wearing a mask. Thought people would call the police on him. We shared a room years ago on a, on a northern tour. He slept in his mask. I know! And then he'd go in the shower, and he'd come out, he'd have a different mask on. I wanted to line up behind him at customs one time to see what his passport picture had, but I'm sure it had the mask on. And now they're outside the ring. This referee can plead with them to come back in, say, hey, guys, come on, let's bring it in here. Keep it clean. But they are not required to. They're not obligated no, to. No, nothing. They can, they can keep this match outside the ring all they want. There is no count out. There's no disqualification. Chase Owens can use that vest around the throat of Mendelo just like that, and it's completely legal. The referee can ask him not to. He can try to keep some semblance of rules here. Yeah. But really, there aren't any days. Well, this Petro. match came about several weeks ago. Chase Owens blatantly getting himself disqualified with a low kick to Mentalo. And of course, we've seen these guys, they've gone toe to toe, evenly matched up. And now, this is it the definitive matchup in Mentalo with a hard shot right to the midsection of the crown jewel, Chase Owens. And what do you think that's done? Like, how do you think the momentum has shifted in last week's matchup there, that four way match that also involves Sonjay Dutt and Jason Kincaid, where Chase Owens got the victory by pinning? Mentalo at the end of that match. Well, you know, it has to play into the mind of Mentalo because these guys, like Mentalo, like I said, several weeks back, seemingly had the match in hand until Chase Owens got himself deliberately disqualified. So this was a tag team match, uh, and, uh, you know, they wrestled tag team matches. Fatal four. Oh, and he just oh, got hard wow. into that chair. But we, we've seen them battle in every match per, um, perceivable, and now this one, this, this should be it. But Mentalo, I've never seen him more focused, Kevin Ken. Mentalo now putting Chase Owens right where he needs him. Oh. Oh. Slides right on. Well, who fell on the floor there? I don't know what that was. <laughs> but uh, Mentalo causing some damage here to Chase Owens and maybe to some of the property here at, at this arena. But Mentalo doesn't care. He wants that NWA World Junior Heavyweight title. There's Chase no Owens. rules. Anything goes. Chase Owens now begging off. But 
Plays pause, Malone kicks Mendelo in the gut, and now, oh, Mendelo out of the way again, and wow, just takes one right between the legs onto the turnbuckle there, Dave Petro. I said, I said there was no DQ, no count out. Also, Kevin Cannon, no time limit. That's it. They can go all night if need be. Absolutely. So our television affiliates, be prepared. We might go a little longer in this one because the score has to be settled tonight. The champion, Chase Owens, the NWA Junior Heavyweight Champion, and the challenger, Mentolo, right in the middle of the ring. And Mentolo now with that front face lock and applying extra pressure to the bridge of the nose, the face of Chase Owens. And the referee is asking for if, if he wants to give up, but I don't think... He's trying think. to untie. He's trying to untie Mentolo's mask. Look at that. He's got his hands on the, on the string there. He's, he's trying to... Yeah, oh. Look at Mentolo. Mentolo adjusts his positioning, gets out of there. <laughs> Mentolo and, knows that Chase Owens is going to try something dirty like that. And I got to tell you, Mentolo has wowed the world with all, all throughout the world of professional wrestling with his abilities in the ring, but he is not afraid to break the rules. He doesn't have to. He has the skill. And of course, I, for one, have been down on him in the past for some rule-breaking tactics, but rarely does he pull them out of that of his arsenal. And he usually... Ooh. Yeah, that was tough. That was a big hip toss right on the floor. And as you wrestling fans can see, there are no pads, no, mo no nothing to break that fall, just wood. Hardwood floor. Emphasis on hard. Hardwood floor. These guys now fighting into the, the chair area, the almost back into the storage room, if you will. And look at this. He picks him up. Oh, no. We've yeah, seen this in like again. a teeter-totter. Yep. It is. When you got leverage to your advantage, you can make a man go oh. Oh, right into that wall. I will leave wow. a mark right on the wall there. And that was cinder rocks, ladies and gentlemen. That's not a... Hard, or a uh, drywall wood floor, that wood, wood wall, I don't even know what I'm talking about right it's now. It's hard. It is hard. Like, I got my head hit in that one. And now, Chase Owens stuck in a submission maneuver here. Referee asking him if he gives up. Medlow down on the floor. All's right. count anywhere. That's right. There is no disqualification. There's no count. There's no nothing. He can pin him out here. He can submit him out here. He can do whatever he wants. He can go outside. That's right. If he if he so chooses, they can get right in the back of the ring truck and throw a few suplexes in there. It could end in the locker room anyway. One of the fans passing a chair over here. Oh no! Chase Owens pulls that chair into the head of Mendelo, yeah. just within his reach. And wow, he's got a limp to him now. He is having a hard time walking after taking that damage to the leg uh, by the hands of Mendelo. Oh, and a chair right to the midsection of Mendelo. This is going to get out of hand. The referee has got to control this to prevent some serious injury, but there's not much he can do because there is no disqualification. I think it's in that referee's best interest, Dave Petro, just to stay, stay out, out of the, the way. damn way. Yeah, stay yeah. out of the way and just be there to count the fall or to watch when a wrestler taps out. Exactly. Marty Gold even keeping his distance I back there. Yeah. We are at a safe broadcast vantage point ourselves right now, too. And I, that's the way I like it, because this could, could get out of hand. Chase Owens now throws Mentolo back into the ring and delivers a double double arm, forearm right to the top of the head of the challenger, Mentolo the man, from Parts Unknown. Mentolo now looks like he's not having a good time. Mentolo's kind of woozy here. He's staring at the ceiling. I think one of those hits that Chase Owens landed on him could have concussed him. Oh, oh gets out of the misses way. with that moonsault. Chase Owens so quick, but Mentolo was a little bit quicker there, getting out of the way. And wow, big double boot right to the chops, right to the lips of Chase Owens. Chase Owens now begging Mentolo, please. Yeah. He's not going to let up. Mentolo oh, wants no. this championship that has eluded him for so long and now applying some punishment, stepping right on the throat and the forehead area of the NWA Junior Heavyweight Champ, Chase Owens, and now Mentolo now propping him up onto the top turnbuckle, hooks the leg underneath one, so, so Chase Owens can't get out, oh, and just dumps him over, and Chase Owens can't get out, his oh, feet no. have been locked. Oh no, is this uh -oh. what I think it is? Yeah, The it gas is. pedal, Dave Pedro, and the referee, normally he'd be counting, he'd be yelling and at them, he can't, everything's just legal, steps everything back. goes. And here comes Mentolo. And oh, oh, the right double. into the head. Right to the head. Chase Owens, and he is down. He certainly is the champion now in a prone position on the mat. He could be out cold. Oh, yeah, he looks like it. He's barely stirring. Yeah. And the referee can't stop it. No count out. No DQ. No nothing. No, Mentolo now with a submission maneuver on to Chase Owens. 
Got that arm, got that leg, all wrapped up. Chase Owens in a lot of pain. And Mentolo is on the side that is to the ropes. Chase Owens has to contort himself. Matter. And it doesn't matter. But Mentolo being the sport he is, he broke it. He didn't have to, Kevin no, Cannon. he didn't have Maybe to. that could have been a technical glitch in Mentolo's strategy. Force a habit. Your could opponent be. grabs that rope, you let go. But really, he could have not. Chase Owens hanging on from the drop kick and then comes out and he comes out and delivers a double boot Ooh, to the face wow. of Mentolo. And he ate that one so hard day, Petro. Maybe that little get, that little momentary lapse in judgment on Mentolo's part may cost him the match as Chase Owens has now firmly taken control of this one. Mentolo down on the floor. Chase Owens scooping him up though and tossing him right back into the ring. And that's great strategy because Chase Owens is a great wrestler and you will, by, by so showing this superior wrestling strategy, you might be able to get this on the day's Mentolo because up until this point, Mentolo has been taking it to Chase Owens. Oh, Chase Owens there using a, Mentolo's shirt as a little bit of a, a snot rag, if you will, Dave Petro. Disgusting. Oh, Ooh, hard chop. The hard chop to the chest of Mentolo. Mentolo, though, he is full of... Emotion oh, right he now. is. He's full of adrenaline. Stands he's, him up. Oh, he's taking a lot to put down Mendelo, but Chase Owens is persistent, and Mendelo with a huge what drop kick, and Chase Owens what is elevation. down. What elevation, Kevin Cannon. That was absolutely huge. This again, fans, for all the marbles. The NWA Junior Heavyweight Championship, and I don't need to tell you the lineage of that title, the, the, the men that have held that title. How far back in wrestling history does it go? And it could be around the waist of Mentolo before we are done tonight. And you got to think, Dave Petro, you have to think that despite all the traveling and the busy schedule of Mentolo, he has been training harder yes. than ever to get this title, to put it around his waist, to call himself the world NWA Junior Heavyweight Champion. Absolutely correct, Kevin Cannon. The title has such that could open so many doors for a wrestler in the world of professional wrestling. Anywhere you go, when you have that NWA Junior Heavyweight Championship, the doors automatically open for you, and you just basically have set yourself right to the main event of any wrestling show that you will be on. I don't know who is next in line for the, a shot at this championship, Dave Petro, but whoever it is, both these guys are going to be pretty beat up. Whether Mentolo or Chase Owens walks away here, the champ, whoever it is is going to have a little bit, I'm not going to say an easy time, but an easier time than they would have. Chase Owens propelled over the top by Mentolo Wrestling fans. we got to take a quick break. We will finish this match when we come back. Awesome. Wrestling fans, get set. The CWE presents the Bad Influence Tour featuring the Fallen Angel, Christopher Daniels. Wednesday night, April 22nd, Yorkton, Saskatchewan welcomes the CWE. The next night, Thursday, April the 23rd, the Zombie Princess, Jimmy Jacobs, will be in action in Souris, Manitoba. All the stars collide Friday night, April the 24th, Holy Cross Gymnasium, Winnipeg, Manitoba, 7 o'clock bell time. And for the very first time, Saturday, April 25th, Steinbeck, Manitoba, welcomes the CWE. For ticket information, go to cwecanada.ca. Welcome back to CWE Wrestling Day. Petro Kevin Cannon ringside. We are in the middle of the NWA Junior Heavyweight Championship match. Mentolo taking on the champ. Chase Owens and Chase Owens, Kevin, just delivered a tremendous boot right to the side of the head of the challenger, Mentolo, and, and now he gets his belt. This is no count on Kevin Cannon. He, he, he can't just leave again. Mentolo can follow him back there and beat him up. It doesn't matter. We've seen that before. Yeah, just take can't. the belt and go home. He can't. No. Nope. can't. Yeah, he could be a new champion. No count on allowed. Oh, he comes back to the ring with that belt, though. He oh, has that championship belt, and we no, know what his intentions are with no that. No disqualification, yeah. Kevin. He could use this as a weapon. These guys have been toe-to-toe, -to -toe, pillar to post so far, and now Chase Owens looking to finish off Mentolo. Mentolo able to duck out of time, and what a clothesline, Kevin! Mentolo just needs to get over there. Both men are down. Mentolo needs to get on top of Chase Owens, pin him, and walk away with that title. But Chase Owens is rolling away from Mentolo. Chase Owens has some strategy here yet. Mentolo trying to get to his feet, trying to use that energy to get up and finish this match off. No time limit. No disqualification. 
No Ooh, count out. Tried for a cross body there. You got Chase it. Chase Owens just held that championship belt up. Oh. One more for good measure. Mentalo is down. This is That's it, folks. It. This is one, it. One, two, two and, three. and three. No. Oh, and Mentalo rolls that shoulder off the mat at the very last millisecond possible. You have to think that was instinct, Kevin. Absolutely. Chase Owens once again, as he has in the past with Mentalo, showing his frustration. We don't normally see Chase Owens get like that, but today, yep. and in every other match that he has with Mentalo, he gets more and more and more frustrated. Tosses Mentalo to the arena floor, and now picking him up. Oh, is he gonna pile drive him, Kevin, or power bomb him? I think that's his intention, oh, that cradle pile drive yeah. him to the floor. No, Mentalo no, able to get out. Get oh, oh a so serious, big right punch. hand. That's right. Shoves him off, though, into the turnbuckle. Oh, or into the post, pardon me. And then takes a flying fist at him, but eats the post as yeah. Mentalo gets out of the way. There is no give on that post. The referee checking on the, maybe a concussion-like syndrome. You get your head rung into the, the steel ring post like that. It could be lights out. Mentalo now hoping to take advantage of the dazed Chase Owens, tossing him back into the ring. And Mentalo now coming around, going to get back into the ring himself. And we could have very well see a new champion right now. Roll him up. One, One two. two. And Chase Owens able to kick out of the count of two. The NWA Junior Heavyweight Champion for now, Kevin Cannon. And a technical submission is still allowable in this matchup. If the referee yep. deems that Chase Owens is unconscious and, oh, he's got to roll up. No, he doesn't. Hey, oh, look at this. Pulls right the referee up. right in the middle of the event. Oh, and toss him aside and a poke to the eyes. That is unsportsmanlike. Oh, and wow. Shades of Kerry Von Eric. Just nails him with a tw with a spinning forearm, pardon me. One, two. Oh, Kevin, that was as close as close can be. I thought that was it. I thought he had him. We all Chase did. Owens thought he had him, too. Look at the frustration on the face of the champ. He is turning red, Dave He's, he's saying, what can I do to put this guy away? I'm surprised steam is not coming out of his ears right now. Chase Owens up once more. Look at the look at his face. Oh, yeah, he is tense. He is angry. He wants to end this for once and for all. And now he wants for a third time to try that cradle pile yep. driver. And oh, Mendelo fighting it with all of his might. Reverses it, Kevin. Oh, wow. Did he ever get him up there? He almost hit the Raptors with his feet. And down with a drop kick slide right into his face. One, and two, three. new champ. No. Darn it. Mendelo coming ever so close, but Chase Owens able to kick out at the count of two. This match has taken a tremendous toll out of both competitors. Even the fans look tired right now because they've been cheering. This has gone on 20 minutes or so, so far. And this Irish whip hard in the turnbuckles. Oh, and look at the elevation. And oh, into the back of the head, too. Both sides of the foot. And look at that wow. kick. Here That's we go, it. Kev. Done. That's got to be it. One, two, three. No. Oh. Once again, Chase Owens able to kick out at the count of two. Mentalo now. You can't see his face, but look at the body language. He is tremendously frustrated. What's it going to take? For either one of these men to put each other away. And he's trying to untie that mask. He is he's once again. He's playing with the strings there. Mentalo might be, might have it. And a low out. kick. Another low kick. Chase Owens. Oh, look at that. He sets up that championship belt. Here comes the cradle pile driver. Right, right on the belt. On the belt. Right, right on, the belt. on the belt. Chase Owens has to cover him up now. Hooks the leg. One, one two, two, and three. Chase Owens retains the NWA World Junior Heavyweight Championship. What a match. This one definitely going to go down in the record books still the nwa junior heavyweight champion the crown jewel chase owens wow kevin what comes up next week on cwe wrestling the other two men we saw in that fatal four-way last week and in the tag team match the week before that jace kincaid the guru sonjay dutt are going one-on-one -on -one for cwe junior heavyweight supremacy day petro that is our main event next week on behalf of Kevin Cannon, Dave Petro saying good night from CWE Wrestling.